Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 10 which is the grand finale to The Bear Season 3. Uh, the third season, the th well, I'd say unfortunately the weakest <laughs> of the three that I've had so far which is a shame because I felt like season 2 was so good. Like maybe I didn't expect season 3 to be as good as season 2 but I thought maybe it would be stronger than season 1 because it just felt like we were on such a momentum with it. And don't get me wrong, I do not agree with a lot of the reviews for this saying it's like bad or a filler season which i think is wild i don't know how you can watch this season and think it is a filler season um ridiculous so i don't agree with those extreme negative reviews i just think and i do agree with that is this is the weakest season out of the three that i've had so far but still very good i still think we've had some absolute standout episodes with this season we still have this episode to go as well so maybe this will be one of them but uh, again, a lot of people think episode one was very boring. I thought episode one was a masterpiece. That is the only 10 out of 10 episode I've given this season. Um, I think episodes two and three were pretty great. Episode four was good. Episode five was good. Episode six was incredible, um, directed by Ayo. Uh, I think that's the highest rated episode of the season, actually. It's 79% on track. Uh, and I think IMDb has this as, at the highest rated episode of the season as well. Uh, that, of course, being Tina's backstory. So, yeah, amazing episode there. Then I think we had a good episode with episode seven. Uh, then episode eight, I thought was great. Uh, my third favorite episode of the season uh, with Sugar, uh, giving birth and having Donna in there as well and then episode 9 the one we just had I think was again a good episode probably maybe the weakest of the season but um I, I like with the last episode that we just got bits of everyone it's just again I, I felt like we weren't pushing the story much with that and it was like just focusing a lot on the Claire and Carmi stuff which you know is fine I'm not that into it it's fine uh so yeah overall a good I don't think we've had a bad or even a mid episode with this season I just think it's like we've mostly had good episodes where typically with the bear we're getting incredible great or even masterpieces of episodes especially like say this time <laughs> last season we were just on such a roll uh well this one just feels a bit like it's just sailing along sailing along and maybe that's okay like maybe they need to kind of have a season like this so we get season four it's i will say season four is kind of on the same level as this season i'll start to worry a little bit because uh like i said at the start of the season this is one of the few shows where i put it in my 10 out of 10 ratings for the show before having even finished it which i usually don't do i like to kind of wait until i finish the show to really decide that but it was just so good that i had to put it there this season will probably bring that down to like a 9 out of 10 but it can go back up to a 10 if season 4 is kind of on the same level as what season 2 was kind of giving us or close to that if season 4 is on the level of season 3 uh, then I'll start to be a little bit disappointed and maybe that they I don't know should start to wrap it up <laughs> maybe uh which i think they'll do anyway like i said with the bear i've always felt like this is kind of like a four maybe five season kind of show i uh, don't see it going beyond that to be honest like um yeah but we'll see we'll see we've got worry about that next year but for now guys episode 10 if you enjoy make sure to leave a like because it does help the video and it does help the channel patreon is down below if you do want to join us over on there of course but for now let's do this oh call me call me This is a song from Ep One. Oh no, I was just going through the whole thing. It was. First week? First day. Really? First day. Well, actually, he's just doing exactly what Episode One did. Well, there's like different levels of people who have taught him. I've seen like four people now. Well, there we go. Your wishbone. Perfect. Perfect. Save that for tomorrow. Now we're going to truss it. Okay. okay. Wow. Well, now I'm pushing with my thumbs, right? Against the wing, the, the, the wing joint. Makes me want to watch Ep One again. <laughs> The one was so good. It's an anti-Catholic uh, sentiment going around the country. And so um, they called the ass end of the bird, the Pope's nose. Uh, oh, as a derogatory comment uh, about the Pope. Cool. Sure, you appreciate that one. He gives a shit about the Pope, though. Well, quite a few people do, but... <laughs> and he came to me one day and he asked me, he said, Thomas, do you know why cooks cook? I'm like, okay. I'm trying to think. He said, we cook to nurture people. He strikes me as someone who might actually be a chef, but he probably isn't, that's why. Kind of like fuck actually is. You'll have a legacy here in this restaurant, you know, and after you leave. So always remember, right? Come in every single day and just try to do a little better than the day before. Just a little better. Oh, yeah. The modicum of effort. Yes. This scene really goes hand in hand with that one. I mean, granted, like I say, it literally has the same music, but... <laughs> it's all about nurturing. 
Glad you had it. Thank you, Chef. Thanks, Chef. Yeah, maybe that's some, another big famous cameo. I, I don't know who that actually is, sir. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we have not had as, as many city shots, actually, as we did in season Not that it matters, but I felt like it was most episodes in season one and two. Is that Bradley Cooper? <laughs> Pretty sure that's Bradley Cooper. Hey, we're back here. Oh, that means he might bump into, um, I forget her name. Where Richie found his purpose. Hey! Hell yeah. Gonna get the whole squad together this up. Yes! <laughs> yes. I just shipped this whole group, all four of these. Very dog right there. And his legendary four days. Five days. And I'd like to think that had I stayed on, my talents would have just flourished exponentially. Oh. Yeah, so you're saying that we would have just retired your This is what I'm saying. Still the best up of the show, folks. Second counts, bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah. So what's up, guys? You know where you're going yet? I guess, like, reality hasn't set in. You've not made any plans yet. Well, we can hire her, no? Hey, you guys mind if I, uh... Hang in here for service? You don't want to sit out there? No, fuck that. Of course. Yes! Oh my god. It's happening. Talking about puncturing, um, because I'm just thinking about, um, like, uh, the, uh, needles. Like, um, so <laughs> with the, uh, truffle explosion, mm -hmm. is that injected or is that, like, set when you make nah, the Nah, that's set. Oh, okay. That one's set. Oh, okay, because it's just, it explodes so much. I thought it was maybe, uh, right. yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, oh, that guy's boring, isn't he? Give him something to work with. Yes. Yes, it's injected. Okay. Final service. Time to rock. You want to lead? No, thanks. I'm retired. Mind if I take it? Go get him, Chef Jess. Chef Jess. Okay, okay. How did you come up with that plate? Because it's like nothing I've ever seen. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I got it. I got it, man. Sure. Oh, boring prick. Bye. Well up his own ass. Why did I say needles so much? The guy was just excited about your work, like, what are you doing? Oh my god, Sydney. So I lost my train of thought then, but whatever. Is it train of the trail of thought? Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's lost. Hey, everybody's uh, Chef Sydney. Yeah. Bow before her. Don't sit next to that guy, he'll bore you to death. Sit next to Will Poulter. Surely we get Olivia Coleman again as well. Next time we get 15 seconds, press a fucking button. Sign the agreement, Sid. Come on. She's got to make the decision this episode. But it's a filler season. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> my first dish? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was awful. <laughs> I don't mind. It's just like beans on toast. That was my first dish. It desserts are so, like, just scaled back. Mm -hmm. I think this dish had 12 elements on it. Mine was cornbread ice cream. Yeah, no one asked. No one asked. I never knew that. That's cool. Oh shit, he's house, there. Right? <laughs> or is he imagining he's there like he did in season two? And then having someone you really yeah. respect Absolutely. Yeah. say, okay, yeah. it's ready to go on. Not just you saying it's ready to go on. Yeah. Chef, it's not ready yet. You understand? Cool. It becomes our man. Like your fingerprint. <laughs> We're all getting trauma under. flashbacks. That feeling. The greatest mistake is working for a bad boss, such that what it unlocks in you is the culture that you choose to create. This needs to get Was he a bad boss though? He did push you. Kind of like the whole whiplash thing. <laughs> he was a prick, but. Has anybody ever left on the pre-order option? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Don't like that. <laughs> Still sharing stories, Good times. I <laughs> the, the magazine's called Dessert Professional. Was that professional to <laughs> leave? <laughs> well, it just actually feels like a group of people having a conversation. Shocking, I know. You say your line of dialogue, then I say my line of dialogue. It's like, no. People would talk over each other constantly. <laughs> I can't tell if he's actually there or he's just. Yeah, I think we could open a restaurant. Who's we? We who? Me and you, Mike. Hey guys, why don't y'all stop? I'm gonna let Carmi catch. I mean, if he's imagining he's there for the second time, he might need to get checked out. Be the conductor of it all. Like when I was 12, my dad had me write down like my life's goals, which is a long time, but I wanted to open wow. a restaurant in New York City. Carmi is not bothered about. <laughs> I seek approval out of people every single day and yeah that elska we run the are we wrapping this up now no people are still talking okay been 10 minutes these lot yapping i'm all good for seven minutes 
don't know, it just brings this other layer to cooking. I love it. So uh -huh. There's nobility in this. Yep, 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 yep. Yappy scrappy do. Their lives. We Yappers McGee. Them the grace, if only for a few hours. Oh, what's this? The whole lap is this lot. Every time I find myself like about ready to burn out, I reconnect with the fact that that is the business we're in. Okay. Yes. Ten, 30, Fire, eight, and these two have just been staring at each other. I can't tell if they like want to punch each other or just have sex at this point. Your brother hates you. Why do you keep trying? Fuck off. What will we call this place? Oh, Claire again. There we go. Sorry, I forgot my spoon. I'm going to use my watch. <laughs> Olivia Colburn. She, she can talk for 10, 15 minutes. I don't give a shit. Go as long as you uh, want. This will be quick. I, I just no. wanted to thank you all for being here. So I could see all of the customers coming in and rather terrified. Everyone in awe because it's Olivia Colman. Three, going to 21. Oh God. Pick up order nine. Straight into it, just sapped in, I guess. I think I surround myself with people better than myself. What about when you're not at work? I didn't mean at work. Oh, maybe that's the secret then. Hey, don't tell anybody. <laughs> we need like so many scenes of these two in season four, or what's the bloody point? That's a blast from the past. Do you work on this? I think Kami and I shot probably 10 million of these peas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like robots. Filling up the tubs. Fucking robots. Mm. Repurposed your trauma then, I guess. That's what we can do, right? <laughs> Right, mate. Mm. Yeah, he's zoned out. Staring. Yeah, really staring actually. Why? Who are you staring at? The love of his life. Asshole over there. Which one? Just let it do in the corner. Just don't, don't look right now. <laughs> David Fields. Oh shit, the Empire. Yeah, he's a dickhead. Yeah. He's oh, the shocker. fucking worst and one of the best chefs in the world. <laughs> Used to be one of the best chefs in the world. Mm. Total prick. Fuck face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let it all out. Dead inside, cold, never turns it off. <laughs> Accomplishes more by 10 a.m. than most people do in a lifetime. I don't think he sleeps. I don't think he eats. I don't think he loves. Fair enough. He is getting up. Calm. Oh, is he gonna... Carmen. Oh my god. <laughs> do we think that's gonna end well? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm betting now. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come, so he is actually there then. What? I always wondered what I would say to you if I got to see you again. <laughs> After fuck you, I, I don't, I don't have much. Fair enough. Fuck me. Yeah, that's right. For anything in particular? No, just generally being you. Yeah, fair enough. Well, this has been nice. <laughs> Still have these, huh? Well, there you go. <laughs> think about nonsense. I think about you too much. Yeah. I don't think about you. Why are you such a fucking asshole? How am I an asshole? Do you have half an hour? You are kind of a prick. <laughs> you were an okay chef when you started with me. And you left an excellent chef. So you're welcome. Yeah, it's sad that he has a point with that, but he still operates. My life stopped. That's the point, right? That's the point? You wanted to be great. It's so like whiplash. <laughs> I'm gonna go piss now. Yeah, I don't care. Enjoy. Yeah. Didn't quite go the way he thought it might, I guess. I, did, but, uh, I don't know. We're with Kami on it, of course, but it's like, he did come out there a better chef. Can't deny that. Um, are you here for a minute? Oh my god, these two. Uh, a few months, yeah. Oh, wow. Dare I say it, a potential bit of chemistry with these two. I know all the Kami Sydney stands are going to hate that one, but I'm just saying it how I see it. No. Really? I got all They're giving each other a couple of looks. Sydney, can I uh, borrow you for a second? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. I see the vision a little bit. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. Moment of uh, truth. Let me know, you know, if I need to yeah. start looking. No, no, I, I get it. I would. If... Maybe she won't even make a choice this episode. I'm starting to look at spaces. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's getting exciting. Uh, yeah, I bet. Revenant. Of course, it's sick. It's huge. Um, yes. 
Maybe they'll be opposite the bear. Be like smiling friends with that one episode. Frowning fiends or whatever it was. Yeah, just let me know. Just, okay. Okay. Yeah, of course. Great. All right, let's Yes, out of here. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. I thought like Kami would. I thought this situation would be like Kami hears it in some way, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case. She's just gotta tell him. It's the same one Richie touched. You know, I think he was unhooking it. Oh, you finally quit? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about oh. you? Oh, I've just started. Seems reasonable. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's done well. He hasn't smoked all this season. On late nights here, I used to come out and watch. Uh, the construction of that, I watched that whole building being built in its entirety. The whole building? Really? No yeah. It's like real life Jenga. <laughs> Stressful. Yeah. Oh, to see them set up the crane was like, oh. Yeah, no, it's totally insane. <laughs> Bonkers. Yeah, fuck that. Managing a crane. I'd, I'd know I'd be knocking down buildings left and right with that. I don't think I ever got to tell you just how much I learned in this place. How much? Yeah, so you, you can know? learn from the nice chefs. It's a lot. What would you tell yourself? You know, when. When you were where I am. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so good. that's a toughy. Right thing to say that will make any difference. Uh, I think I'd tell myself that you have no idea what you're doing and therefore yeah. you're invincible. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Next time we see each other, yeah. will you call me Andrea? Oof. Can't imagine Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> So I mean, they've all taken something away from here. Well, I guess Sydney hasn't been here much, but still. Awfully quiet. No! Oh. Chef. Cute chef. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's, it's going to end with him going to see Clara, I think. Did he bring the inflatable thing? Hey. I've had like no fact this episode. Is that a first? <laughs> I wish she turned to look at the camera, look back, and there it was. How bad? Ooh. Ooh. Let's have a look what we got. Nice. $500, alright. Oh my god. Salt guy. Is he still bimbling around? Oh, they're feeding each other and everything. Does it hit from what this she said where she's like, it's the people, not the food. <laughs> Tina having the best time ever. Are we finally going to make our choice? Is it going to be her be signing it? Nope. Oh, I don't bloody know. Oh no, we're just going panic attack mode. No. Calm, Calmy's brought her into the panic attack realm. Oh, is this the review? Is that a good review? I can't even tell. To be continued. I'm just going back. What did it say? Chicago Tribune Restaurant Review for Miss Calls from Cicero, and then the computer guy left. Confusing, excellent culinary. Innovative, sloppy, simple, disappointing, tired, stale. Okay. Yeah, maybe not a good review there then. <laughs> Jesus. He said like the word excellent and that kind of threw me off, but then there's like those other words don't seem to give the best impression of it. But all right, there we go, guys. That is episode 10 of The Bear Season 3. Uh, the final episode and a pretty good one. I enjoyed most of this episode. I think one of the scenes with all the like chefs talking that went on a, a, for about two minutes too long, I think. But other than that, we had some really good moments. Like with Sydney there at the end, uh, Carmi and Olivia Coleman's character, uh, Jess and Richie. Just say, also Will Poulter and Sydney. I'm just saying, I saw something going on there a little bit maybe. Uh, then. 
uh, Kami confronting his old boss as well and kind of it not going the way he maybe thought it would. Like I say, no way near as strong as the finale of season two and definitely not as good a season as season two. But I think we had a good finale here overall. Um, I wouldn't put it up there as one of the best episodes of the season or anything. I'd say it's like a high seven. I'd give this like a 7.8 out of 10. I think it was a really good episode. Uh, I could maybe push that to an 8 as well, maybe on rewatch or something, but that's just kind of how I'm feeling about it right now. So the three best episodes for me easily, episode 1, episode 6, and episode 8 are like the three standout episodes for me for sure. Um, and I think everything else was really good. Don't understand how this is being called a filler season. I literally, that's the top review on track right now. It just says, disappointing. It was a filler. It felt, no, it felt like a filler, like the writers had a total mental block, mostly reflection of past experience, very little of story progression. I agree with that a little bit. Unlike seasons one and two, which moved the story forward at a good pace, could probably skip this season and watch season four without being lost. Definitely disagree with that bit. Uh, so it's just like, how are we... Yeah, some people are really dunking on the season. Oh my god. I'm sure I fell asleep at episodes one and nine. Jeez, you fell asleep at episode one? Okay, interesting. Uh, so yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that this is like a bad season or a filler season, but as I said at the start of the episode, I do agree that it is the week's episode out of the three that we've had. I'd say I gave season one a mid eight point, like an 8.5 out of 10. Season two, I stand by that being a 10 out of 10. I think that was a masterpiece for season. And I'd give season three a seven out of 10. I think it was a maybe like a 7.5 7.5 maybe which is still good uh, I just think for the bear it's like I really went into the season just assuming that it would be an absolute masterpiece again because seasons 1 and 2 were just really building up and then season 3 I felt like we were just going to kick off from there and it did for the most part but like, like I do agree with that one part of the review saying where we didn't get much story progression like I think Marcus didn't really do much. Tina in the present day didn't do much, but her flashback was obviously really great. But that that doesn't push the story forward much. It just gives you more context to Tina's character, which was amazing. Uh, we had way too much of fact, and the comedy wasn't working as well as it did in seasons one and two for me with this one. Um, Richie was good. Nowhere near as strong as he was in season two. Carmi again, nowhere near as good as he was in season two. Sydney, hmm, Sydney, like her whole thing this season was like debating whether to sign on to be a partner with the bear or maybe go for a different job. But that was like, obviously, she had more go a little bits as well. But that, in terms of her main plot, like that was really it. And then kind of had that come and lead into a panic attack at the end of the season there. So, again, didn't do as much. Sugar was really great this season. She was really, really great. Um, yeah, that was really it. It's like, yeah, not and then the whole thing with like Claire just to feel is so dragged out. Like he still didn't go and see Claire. So that him not talking to Claire and not apologizing to Claire is actually gonna seep over into season four. Which is way too long. I get it, it's part of Kami's character in some way, but I, just watching it and that being his like majority of his whole story is just like, oh my god, okay, Claire's not for me like Again, I don't hear as much as some people do. Some people think it's like the worst thing to ever happen to the bear or something. But I, I do agree. Like their relationship just feels like absolutely fine. It's like not great. It's not awful. I don't think it's just very mid, very safe, very bland. Uh, so I just am not that invested in terms of like that being his main thing this season. Of like worrying about Claire and that kind of seeping into his work life. But uh, like I say, still a good season. I just... I'm a little bit disappointed in the sense that seasons one and two was so good. So to get like a season that's just kind of like, you know, good, which is still good. At least it's not like a complete mess of a season, I don't think. Like this has a 72% on track, which I think is like very low. Uh, like I don't see many seasons kind of get towards that low of a rating. So I think people are maybe being a bit, a bit too harsh on it. But again, I guess maybe people's, I don't know, perceive like not enjoying episode one and stuff it's like oh okay whereas i <laughs> i loved it so uh and i think most people loved it because they just have a really high rating which is good but yeah there we go that is the bear season three we have been renewed for a season four as well i think they're writing i think they were going to film seasons three and four back to back but then i read that they didn't actually finish the script for season four in time but i assume 
they'll be close to finishing the script for season four and maybe we'll get season four uh next year which would be kind of cool so yeah i'll see you next time for season four <laughs> next year thank you for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed do let me know what you thought of season three as a whole down below uh, and yeah until next time take care peace